Hi, today I'm going to show you how you can make mobile apps in just a few minutes where users can already sign up, sign in, or reset their password. And I'm going to do this using Thunkable, which is a low-code online platform for building mobile apps, and Firebase Auth, which is a feature of Firebase, which is an online database which is super easy to set up, powered by Google. And to start, you're going to take this URL, which I'll also post down below in the description, and it will open a new Thunkable project for you. Now, this project is the same as a tutorial that Thunkable has posted in their own documentation, except the version that I'm giving you is already finished. So let's go to the project that was just created by going to that URL, and let's just have a quick look at what's going on. So there's three pages here, a sign up and sign in page, a reset password page, and then an app home, which is where you go once the user is actually signed in. Now let's have a look at the blocks, which is like the code uh, behind each of these pages. So if we look at the blocks in the sign up and sign in page, we see some code that gets run to allow the user to sign in or to sign up. Now, you don't need to understand this code, but rest assured, it's regular glue that's connecting the interface on the sign up sign in page to the Firebase authentication provider. And similar thing for the reset password page and the app home, which includes a sign out button. All of these are fully functional in the template that I'm giving to you. So what do you have to do to make this work? In order to make this template work, you have to create a new Firebase project. So we'll go to Firebase console and we'll click add project. And I'm just going to call this my demo app. And we don't need analytics for this project. And then we wait for Firebase to create the project. Okay, so once that's ready, then we click continue. And then in our project, we need to enable one service and that is authentication. So by scrolling down, we see authentication. We click on that, and by clicking Get Started, then it will enable authentication in our project. And we just need to do one more thing here, uh, which is to add our sign-in method, which is going to be email and password. We need to enable that and click Save. Great, so the Firebase project is ready. Now we need to go to the project settings and scroll down just a little bit. And here, uh, by clicking on this HTML code tag, we will create a web app. So I'll just call this my demo app again and click register app. This is going to create the API keys that Thunkable needs to connect to our Firebase project. And I can scroll down and here I get the API key. So let's copy that and go back to Thunkable. Make sure I'm in the design section and I'm going to click settings. Now in the settings, I see all of the integrations that Thunkable provides. And if I scroll down, I will come to Firebase settings. So the API key goes here. And then there's a second field called database URL. And here in the docs, it says what the database URL has to look like, and that has to look something like this. So it's projectid.firebaseio.com. And that project ID we can find here under project ID. So let's copy that, go back to Thunkable, and paste that right in here. Now, that's all we have to do in order to get this template working. Now, in order to test the template, I just need to click up here, uh, the web preview. We also have the option as well to test on the device or to actually um, publish and download the app. But right now we're just going to use the web preview. And here's the preview. I was signed in, so I'll just sign out and just try um, making a new user. And so now I'm signed in. I can sign out. Once I have an account, I can use the sign in page. And if I forget my password, I can click forget password and I'll get an email sent with a link to reset the password. And really, that's it. 
Once you have your initial Thunkable project set up, you can go on and you can add more screens to the project, you can add more logic, and you can go on building your app. And you can also use Firebase as a database to store information for each of the users. I hope this was useful and good luck with your app.